Here is another situation where you have two lines cut by another line, a transversal. And in this case, they're telling us these two first lines are parallel. And some cool stuff happens when that is the case. We're being told here that the measure of angle 5 is 51 degrees. So I'm just going to jot that in here, and that's 51 degrees. And we want to find the measures of angle 2 and the measures of angle 4. Um, we can do that. And we can actually find every single angle in this whole figure. If we know just one angle, we know everything else. And there are a couple of rules that are going to help you do this. First of all, um, you should know that when you have two lines that cross each other in an X, you get vertical angles. Angles that are across from each other in the X are always the same. So first of all, angle 7 I know is 51 degrees. So that's an easy start to it. The other thing that will help us here is the idea of linear pairs. So there is a straight line. Those two angles, 6 and 7, form a linear pair they always add up to 180 degrees linear pair. So all I have to do to find angle 6 is subtract 51 from 180, and I would get 129. Aha, but now we have another vertical angle here. 6 and 8 are, are vertical angles, so that's 129. And now here's the really cool part. Everything I just did over here is going to be the same over here. Because these two lines are parallel, this other line is going to cross them at exactly the same angles. So really, in a transversal figure like this, where the two lines are parallel, you're really going to only have two measures here, a measure and a small measure. The small measure for us is 51. So the smaller angles over here are going to be 51. And the bigger angles are going to be 129. So in the case of finding the measures of angle 2 and angle 4, it's just one answer it's 129. So that is a little bit of work with finding the angle measures in a transversal.